Since 1992, American Canyon has required residential fire sprinklers to be installed in all new homes. The first section of this video will teach you how to operate and maintain your residential fire sprinkler system. Remember, if you're living in a different home than American Canyon, rules and regulations of your residential fire sprinkler system may vary depending upon what your jurisdiction requires. As we learn more about fire prevention, we're finding that we can share ideas and technology between the commercial world and our homes. One such idea is the sprinkler system. These systems are now required in newer construction all over the United States. In American Canyon, California, sprinklers were mandated for new construction in 1992. Since that ordinance went into effect, there has never been a fire death in a home with a working sprinkler system. The key here is a working sprinkler system, and that's where you come in. Most of us know very little about how sprinkler systems work. Residential sprinklers are designed to save lives. They provide a curtain of water protection for you. They also prevent the fire from spreading and keep the carbon monoxide levels low. This means you and your family have a little extra time to escape the home before being overcome by carbon monoxide the number one cause of death in a fire. Residential fire sprinkler systems are made with orange plastic pipe that withstands heat better than normal PVC pipe. Systems draw from the same water supply that provides water to the house for showers and faucets. As the water comes into the house, it splits. Some goes to the home use and some to the sprinkler system. Every system has some sort of check valve. This valve stop keeps the sprinklers charged up and prevents the water from returning into the domestic system. There's also a flow switch just above the check valve. This switch indicates if there's water flowing in the system. If your home catches fire, the nearest sprinkler drops down and it's this outflow that sets off the alarm bell alerting your neighbors you're in trouble. The alarm bell is located just outside the garage and rings continuously if the sprinklers are flowing inside the house. This alarm is really to alert your family and neighbors. It usually isn't hooked to any particular fire alarm company unless you decide to do so. The piping of your residential sprinkler system runs through your entire house. It's installed above the sheetrock and in two-story homes it's located above the second floor and in the attic area. There's at least one sprinkler per room. There are several different kinds of sprinkler heads. The recessed head has a flush steel cover right on the sheetrock and you hardly notice it at all. The semi-recessed head also has a steel cover but it hangs down into the room about an inch. All sprinkler heads work the same way. Each sprinkler head contains a thermal linkage that melts at 155 degrees Fahrenheit. The water pours down and contains the fire. For recessed heads, the plate will fall off at 130 degrees and expose the head. At 155 degrees, it will start spraying water. You should be aware that the sprinkler heads cannot tell the difference between a fire that reaches 155 degrees or a large space heater. So be careful with space heaters and other items which produce high heat. Here's how simple it is to maintain your system. Every month, make sure that when water flows in the system, the alarm bell rings. To do this, open the valve and the water will flow. Once the bell rings, shut the valve off and the bell should stop. Here are a few things to be aware of when living with a residential sprinkler system. Never paint a sprinkler head or a recessed head cover. If you add a layer of paint, it will take longer for 155 degrees to reach the head, meaning response time of the system will be delayed, causing a greater danger to you and your family in a fire. Please don't caulk around the sprinkler head. 
This will cause changes in temperature resulting in a delayed response time from your sprinkler system. It's not a good idea to drill near the sprinkler piping. The pipe is under pressure and if you drill through it, a licensed contractor will have to repair it. Exposed head sprinklers are not designed as plant hangers. Nothing should be hung from a sprinkler head like clothes or balloons for a kid's party. The system itself should never be modified except by a C16 licensed contractor in the state of California. They are the only ones authorized to work on these systems. Now there are a few myths regarding these sprinkler systems. The biggest untruth, when one head goes off, they all go off. This is simply not true. On a residential sprinkler system, only the head closest to the fire that reaches the designed temperature will go off. Now if the fire increases in intensity and rises in temperature within that area, a second head is necessary. Thanks so much for taking the time to learn about your residential sprinklers. It's not a complicated system, and now that you know how to maintain it, you can rest assured you've taken a very important precaution to make sure you and your family will be safe.